So it's now time for the final part of the show where we meet a musical masterpiece and today we've got Sarah Waddington. Now Sarah, you're the only solo female artist that we're featuring on The Grad Factor. Is it quite scary going it alone? Um, it is scary and I do love playing with other people because you can feed off them a lot more but I really love playing alone. I really love playing alone. And all the attention's on you as well. Uh, is I don't that, know if that's a good thing. <laughs> say, is that scary when all the attention's on you or actually do you thrive in the limelight? I do sometimes. Sometimes I get really, really nervous and then others not. It's really weird. Like, I, I think I probably enjoy it both equally, both of them. Well, I get nervous as well, so it's nice to know someone's sometimes <laughs> in the same boat as myself. Who are your musical influences? You sound very chilled out, very relaxed. That's quite current music at the moment. Yeah. So is there anybody particularly you aspire to? Um... No one I really like aspire to. I think I've pretty much found my kind of sound at the moment. But uh, I've been told I sound like Nora Jane's chilled like that. And then I'm listening to kind of folk at the moment and really into like, the paper kites and um, stuff like that. So. I can definitely see the comparison of Nora Jane. She sounds absolutely beautiful, very chilled out, relaxed music. Do you get tempted to do anything a little bit more up tempo or do you quite like the chilled out sound? Um, when I do covers, they're normally a lot more up tempo, but my own stuff tends to be a lot more chilled and yeah, relaxed. But <laughs> some may say depressing. <laughs> definitely not depressing, definitely not depressing <laughs> at all. And also, I mean, is there a backup plan for you, or is this the plan rather than music? Um, well, I'm doing a degree in English at the moment, and um, if music doesn't turn out to you know, my big dreams, then. I can always fall back on that and I've, I've got other plans as well but music is predominantly the main kind of aspiration at the moment. Well personally I don't think you need a plan B, it's always good to have one but I think you're going to be fantastic and we'll see <laughs> a lot more much. of you. Thank so you. thank you for joining us Sarah. So that's it for today's episode of The Grad Factor. Remember to join us next time when we're in the big smoke that is London, finding out if there really is more opportunity in the capital over the rest of the UK. So now all that's left is for Sarah to play us out. <laughs>